Hello, I'm Morris Kohansky, Wilderness Living Skills and Survival Instructor. The topic of books here is animals. What you should know about animals with regard to your, your time spent in the forest, in the wilderness where you might encounter them. They might be a resource uh, that you might be uh, trapping them for food and for, for their hides, for making clothing, or you might be avoiding them if uh, they're fearsome in some respects. So you should have a, an idea of what goes on with regard to the existence of the animals in, in, in the, in particularly in the North American environment as uh, these books are selected with that, that uh, topic in mind. Here, here one is the book that uh, is profusely illustrated in many respects on how animals go about finding enough to eat. And if you get involved in this, then of course that's not a happy matter. The mammals of Wisconsin. Now, generally, I find that when I see something for Wisconsin and I live in Alberta, would it have relevance? And on a quick examination, you find that practically all the same animals that live in Wisconsin also live in Alberta. And if the author does a very good job, well, then uh, you get the benefit of that person's uh, knowledge and skill and that perspective. And I particularly like the, this book and in the, in the way it's laid out and the information it presents. Wild Animals of North America, which is a National Geographic society type of uh, collection of articles that were probably published over time in the magazine uh, and it gives you um, another um, examination of the similar list to all of these. The Rand McNally Atlas of World Wildlife. Uh, what I like about it is that it gives me an idea of animal populations throughout the whole world and how our unique situation fits in with that. Then there's a book that uh, people, uh, I could have about 20 books on tracking alone, but I've picked one here that generally for North America it gives you an idea of the, of the um, uh, nature, enjoyment of nature through reading the tracks of the animals that have walked through your yard and so on. More, another perspective on the behavior, behavior of North American mammals, uh, in the sense that if you understand their behavior, then you can do something with that. Either know how to conduct yourself if there's uh, any danger, or knowing how to trap them when you're trying to sustain yourself by, by um, catching animals for either their meat or their, their fur. And like the National Geographic, the Smithsonian tends to bring out uh, very well worked out uh, uh, books and knowledge on, on certain subjects. And if you were to pick these seven books and read them through, you'd probably be able to say that, that you do have an insight into animal behavior and how animals might play a role in your survival.